Hi, I'm Steve Bergeron with OmahaBrides.com video broadcast. This is a series of interviews where we interview local wedding vendors to help our brides and grooms better plan for their weddings and receptions. Today we're here in the comfort of the studio of Jeremy Johnson Photography. Now Jeremy has been a wedding photographer since the early 90s and I love the fact that he has all this experience but still brings that youthfulness and that enthusiasm to every wedding that he does. We're going to sit with Jeremy, talk to him a little bit about how to help you better plan for your wedding and reception when it comes to the wedding photographer. Hi and welcome back and we are here with Jeremy Johnson of Jeremy Johnson Photography. How are you Jeremy? Doing good Steve. I gotta ask you, um, what do you love about being a photographer? You've done this a long time. Uh, it, it, yeah, it has been a long time. Uh, uh, well, the, some of the things that I love is that it's, it, it never is the same. No matter what situation you go yeah. into, you're always dealing with, with new and exciting people. It, it changes from day to day, hour to hour. Uh, you never know what's going to happen, yeah. and that keeps it fresh and exciting. You know, I, and I've said this before, I've worked with you for the last 20 years at weddings. You have this knack of being able to sort of adapt as times change and everything else. And I, I 20 can, years, Steve? Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you don't look a day over 22. <laughs> Come, all really. right, all right. <laughs> so, yes, uh, adapting is, is certainly, uh, you have to. You have yeah. to adapt to every situation. Be ready to go uh, at a moment's notice. Adapting is, is a huge part of it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Um, how has that changed over the last 20 years or so? I mean, when, you, when we talk about adapting, how, did you, how has your style changed? Well, the style has changed. Um, I think uh, photojournalistic, candid style has become mm -hmm. very, a, a lot more prominent. Mm -hmm. I think that's a huge part of the day. One of the there's there's a lot of ways that we go about doing that. One of the ways that that I like to do is I like to bring another photographer along with me. Yeah. So we have a multiple uh, photographers there that can get lots of candidates for you and uh, candidates just being um, catching people at a moment's notice so they, they don't really know we're there mm -hmm. kind of blending in and uh, yeah. taking those pictures that nobody knows that we're really taking but uh, I think the there still is room for the traditional stuff we know that yeah. if we don't take that the bride and groom at the altar grandma's going to be mad at mm -hmm. us so we certainly still take the some of those traditional photos but uh, yeah. I know having a good time uh, is, is huge uh, that's yeah. how we get the the true smiles, people relax, yeah. um, and it, it just all kind of comes together. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, if you're having fun and you're getting them to have fun, that's going to give you better, more creative pictures in the end. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. They're more willing to, to open up, uh, to do things that they might not have considered yeah. to be yeah. uh, the norm, I guess you could say. Uh, if you get them to relax, they're, they're going to be more flexible on suggestions and things that that you may uh, ask yeah. them to do on the wedding day. And you know that that that's such a so I, I mean you're playing such a huge role as the photographer in encouraging that that good time and that fun. I mean that kind of starts with you, doesn't it? Absolutely. Uh, you know, most photographers they'll ask uh, bride and groom to be there certain amount of hours before the ceremony and that's why they're there. They're there because the photographer asked them to be there. So it's so important that you yeah. take a, a, a uh, an aggressive role. You, know, you certainly don't want to be the dominant person there because that's not what it's all about. Mm -hmm. It is about the bride and groom and, and they're, it's their yeah. day. It's, they're the most important people there. Mm -hmm. But uh, with that being said, you're still the reason that they're there early. Yeah. Uh, you're going to be with them the entire day if they mm -hmm. can't enjoy your presence. Uh, yeah. what, a, what an awful day they're going <laughs> to yeah. have. I mean, you know, it's just, it's a miserable day. I hear those stories all the time. The photographer yeah. yelled at us and yeah. it just, it uh, really makes for a miserable yeah. day. So having a good time is certainly what it's all about. But um, directing them, I guess, yeah. is a good word to a uh, good way to sum it But at the same time, not only directing, but also being willing just to go with the flow at times right. too, right? Oh, absolutely. So. There's, and the longer uh, that you're in wedding photography, the more... Um, the better you become yeah. at seeing that. You, you really need to know when it's time for you to step up and say, okay, guys, this is what we need to do. Or um, there's times where you just need to let back, stand back and, and mm -hmm. let things happen. And, uh, of course, that comes with experience. Yeah. Um, you, you really learn when those times are and when they need your help and when they don't, when you should just stay out of it. You know, it, it, uh, 
brides and grooms, when they're looking for a photographer nowadays, they have a lot of options. I mean, there's a lot of people out there taking pictures, Jeremy, that's, that's and, and yes. you know, they're going to get prices that are going to be from, you know, 500 bucks. And I've said this before in other interviews we've done with photographers, there's going to be a huge thing out there. What exactly should a bride be looking for when she picks up the phone? She's going to have recommendations from friends and family. Ultimately, what do they want to be looking for here? You know, that's a great question. And, and the funny thing about that is when, when you think about that, that really is... Uh, a, a lot of the stuff that comes up first. It's like, well, the recommendation might be, uh, well, we hired this person for 1500 We hired this person for 500 um, Honestly, I think the best thing to do would be to actually look at the photos because yeah. um, whether this person is 500 or 5000 if you don't like the photos, it's not going to yeah. work for you. I mean, it doesn't really <laughs> matter at that point. Yeah. Um, there are a wide variety of, of price ranges mm -hmm. out there. But I think you need to look at the photos. You need to look at the personality. Can you spend the whole day with this person? Yeah. Um, do you like what they have? And uh, then, obviously, everybody has a budget. No matter what it is, they have a certain price range that they, that they have to be in. Yeah. But with that, I think you need to be somewhat flexible because there are a wide variety of photographers yeah. out there. And just sort of wrapping all this up here, Jeremy, um, the expectations a bride should have of the photographer the day of the wedding. Now, I know that's going to vary from photographer to phot photographer, bride to bride, but in your opinion, what should the expectations be? Well, I think the expectations should be, um, first and foremost, to have a good time. I mean, to, to relax, have a good time, and go with the flow. But um, like I say, I do think that they need to, to step in and direct the situation, um, take control when that control is needed, but stand back when it's appropriate for them to stand back and let things happen the way that Absolutely. they should happen. So uh, with all those things, I think it makes for a real nice day. Things flow really well. Yeah. And, uh, well, you know, I have to tell you, Jeremy, thank you so much for this interview today, and keep having a good time. I love the fact that you still have all this uh, enthusiasm for going out and doing pictures, even with all the years of experience and everything under your belt. Absolutely, absolutely, Steve. Thank you. Stay tuned. We're going to have a few tips from Jeremy Johnson when it comes to getting a photographer for your wedding day. Hi, my name is Jeremy with Jeremy Johnson Photography. I'd like to give you a few tips on finding a wedding photographer. First, uh, search on the internet. There are so many great websites out there, a lot of uh, informational, uh, whether it be Facebook, blogs, so on, to get a general idea of what that photographer could do for you. Second thing would be to meet with them in person. That is so important to be able to view their work in person and find out if you like their personality. You have to spend the whole entire day with them. Make sure you get along with them. And the third tip that I could give you is make sure you know exactly what it is that you're getting. Uh, there are all kinds of packages out there uh, from hourly coverages to all day coverages. Uh, make sure that what you get is uh, going to give you enough time to get pictures of everything that you want photos of. Thank you very much and good luck in your future.